Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman and this is the Forex Weekly Outlook for the week of October the 23rd, 2017. Now, to get started this week, we're going to begin where we always do with the US dollar index. Now, we can see that we've had a failed triple EMA cross. The dollar is recovering with our key support now coming in at 9304. However, we have significant trend line resistance at 9403. So while the dollar is moving higher, this still could very well be corrective in nature. The vantage point indicates Indicators are starting to confirm that we could be moving higher, but it doesn't necessarily mean we have a trend reversal on the current downtrend in the dollar. So we're going to be watching this one very closely, but our indicators for now do show building momentum to the upside with the US dollar. This of course is putting downward pressure on the euro as the euro tries to break through the 118 area. We've repeatedly failed in and around the 118.40 area. Our triple EMA cross is turning back to the downside. Our key pivot area, 118, we're closing below that area at 117.83. So what we would be looking for for the euro to regain any kind of strength is a sustained break above 118, closing above that area. But the, the euro for now remains stuck in a pretty tight range between 119 and or about the 116.50. When we look at the US Swiss franc, we can see the US Swiss franc is pushing through the trend line here. Multiple retracements along the critical vantage point 18 day predict predicted moving average at 97.54. In this particular pair, it is clearly showing dollar strength. Our predicted medium, short, medium, and long term differences, our neural index, predicted RSI, and the predicted MACD all pointing higher potentially at trend ready levels now that we finally push through this uh, very difficult resistance near the 9840 area. When we look at the British pound going into the next week, what we can assess here is we have a very tight wedge formation. Our triple EMA cross failed to break to the upside and now is pointing lower. Our key pivot area comes in at 132.23 with very strong support down in this 131 area. Now we've pushed a little bit below that, but we saw buyers coming in off of this lower trend line at 134, 130, both the 131 area on Friday. Friday. Now we've got a mixed bag here, but the, the position of the predicted MACD and the predicted RSI is definitely what I would consider to be a problem. Now, when I look at this, the predicted long-term difference below the zero line, predicted MACD crossing over the zero line, but if we're going to have any downside momentum whatsoever, we must get this predicted RSI breaking back below 40. Right now, I'm not seeing that happen, so we're going to be monitoring this very closely. Uh, but again, unless we can break through some of the critical levels mentioned, then and it's likely the pound will stay range bound. Now, if we push through 131, uh, that is going to signal probably a move down into the 129 area. But if we can break through the key vantage point level at 132.23 and this upper trend line, then that will take the pressure off the downside and we'll likely move higher. So watch for a break of these very significant areas. But usually when a currency gets into a very tight wedge like this, a much bigger move is pending. So with the, with the uh, dollar strength, with the dollar index we're seeing, if the dollar index can push through those resistance areas I discussed, then the British pound will likely break to the downside. Now, as we look at the dollar yen, we've had a steady climb off of our initial triple EMA cross. We're pushing higher again uh, as we've had this corrective move. A new trend line support is formed coming in uh, at or about the 112.30 area. Now, as long as we hold above 112.30, the dollar yen will continue to move higher. The indicators from vantage point have been very accurate on this uh, corrective move here to the downside, and now it is clearly pointing higher. So we this is a pair we want to look to be buying on dips, providing we hold above 112.36. Now with the US CAD, uh, again, I've talked about the potential for this one to break higher over the last several weeks. We've now push through this trend line. We couldn't get through this very, very stiff support at 124.50. And now we're rising off of this area. Multiple opportunities to get long here using that key vantage point 18 day predicted moving average. Our main indicators, the predicted MACD, the predicted short, medium and long term differences along with our strength indicator and neural index all pointing higher. But again, if this is a true breakout guys, then we want to watch the 125.50, 125.80. That is the 
the breakout area from this trend line here so it's perfectly natural for it to come back to that level to, to and test that area and then if it's a true break higher it will advance from there so keep that one in mind guys with Aussie US and New Zealand US, we could see a recovery, but we need commodities recovering to help these two currencies against the dollar. Right now, we've had a failed break through this trend line, the triple EMA cross pointing lower. Uh, most of the indicators, including the RSI, is all suggesting the Aussie is going lower, which means that gold is probably moving lower with it. And we can see basically the same thing happening with New Zealand here. So. As for now, New Zealand could see some support down around 69.20. Be careful down around that area. That's an area that I discuss with my own direct clients around the yearly opening price. Uh, it, it can be a very dangerous area at this particular time for reversals. So again, 69.20, be very, very cautious down around that level. So with that said, this is the Forex Weekly Outlook for the week of October the 23rd, 2017.